Sisters Scheme Shatters Family Ties Background I started dating my brother's best friend when I was 16. We were together until I graduated high school when he proposed and I rejected it. There was a lot of drama, with my family asking me to reconsider because we could have a long engagement or make a promise to reconcile. My relationship with my brother, 36, suffered for a while, but the one with my sister, 32, never recovered. She was sure my ex was the best fit for me and became unbearable when she started dating my ex's brother. My ex was invited everywhere by my siblings, even to some family holidays, but I didn't say anything since he was their friend too. That is until my sister started to push for us to get back together. My sister did everything from trying to get us on blind dates to making us share a room during holidays. No matter the occasion, my ex was invited to it. After a while I had enough and asked my parents to intervene, they were clear with my siblings and stopped inviting my ex to things or allowing him to tag along so much. It was slightly better, but while my brother backed off, my sister didn't. It all came to a crash when I met my husband during a semester abroad. He was from another university but the same country, and we just clicked. It was magical for me, and we got engaged after dating for a year. My family was very happy for me, except my sister. She kept insisting I was in the honeymoon phase, and will grow out of it, I clearly didn't. And after many, 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 can't express enough how many fights and attempts to reunite me with my ex, I simply let her know if she pulled anything again, I will stop talking to her. What does she do after that warning? Makes me her MOH and requests I spend all my time with the bridal party, AKA my ex, and sets one of her friends as my husband's date. We didn't realize until we were at the reception and the poor girl tried to make a pass at my husband my sister said that since we are not married, it was okay to explore things with other people. I left the party and the next day spoke with my parents and brother, explained that while I won't make them choose, I will not talk to my sister ever again. And if they try to fix stuff between us, I will simply cut contact with them too. My mom was devastated and tried to negotiate, but my dad and brother said they would respect my decision. And apart from two attempts from my mom, I haven't spoken, ridden, or anything with my sister in the past six years. My sister has tried everything to reconcile with me, from gifts to tantrums, but I simply don't talk to her at all. If we are at a family event or dinner, I simply act like she doesn't exist. At first, she made snarky comments or tried to create drama, but since nobody backed her up, she gave up. She did have a meltdown when she was informed she was invited to my wedding, but would not be part of any preparation. My brother says he feels guilty for going along with it for so long and his relationship with my ex has suffered since my ex, they still talk, but they are not as closed anymore. The issue. My mom's birthday was couple weeks ago, and I finally announced we are expecting our first child. This is not the first grandchild, but is the first granddaughter. Everybody was very happy, except my sister. My mom noted that and asked me for tea the other day. My sixth sense told me not to go, but I wanted to be positive. The first thing I noticed when I arrived was my sister's car. Then as I entered the door, there was my sister, her husband, my ex, and my ex Amiel. They wanted to have an intervention since my childish tactic has gone for so long. My ex said that he was just trying to be romantic, but he understands I couldn't appreciate it. His mom said I was just hurting my sister for wanting the best for me, and she apologized already, so I need to forgive her. I was just sending texts to my family, dad, brother, husband, and looking at my mom in disbelief. My BIL had the balls to tell me I was a hurtful person and I need to learn how to act like an adult since I am having a baby now. Then my mom began reading a letter about how hurt she was, her daughters weren't close, how my sister was wrong, but she was well-intended, etc. Then my sister read her letter and began crying and telling me basically another version of what the rest did. I said nothing to anybody, just sat there until my brother arrived. He was angry beyond anything I've ever seen before. He grabbed my stuff and told them all he was really disappointed and disgusted. We went outside and sat in his car until my dad and husband arrived. By then I was just sobbing and he kept saying sorry. I am unsure what happened in there, but I sent everybody, except mom, an email with my lawyer's number info attached and stated I don't wish to be contacted by any of them ever again. And if they do, I will go to the police. Nobody has contacted me, but I know from my dad my mom and sister are hysterical. They told him they hoped to repair things and for my sister to be able to be on my baby's life, maybe possibly being a godmother. My dad is staying with my brother at the moment. They support me, but some others in the family don't. 
I've even had mutual friends call me since they are worried about my sister's well-being and asking me what happened since she is now going by the narrative my husband is keeping me away from my family. I hate having my business in public, but I did go the public route and posted a long FB post about everything that happened. Sister, Bill, and X are being dragged, which even if it wasn't 100% intended, I feel is deserved. Now, my mom has been inconsolable, which does make me feel bad, but not as bad as she made me feel with her little intervention. I agreed to have a talk with her a couple of days ago and laid the ground rules for any possible future interaction, including therapy, family therapy, clear boundaries, no sharing information about me with my sister, and separate holidays. Most important, if she ever pulls anything like this again, she will for sure be cut off. She feels this is too much but is willing to do it. She thought it meant immediate access to baby news, and it is all solved, but I told her it is a process, and she needs to prove she has improved. My dad and brother refuse to talk to my sister, and they keep apologizing for not stopping it earlier. We've forgiven them since they were able to move on and grow. My husband supports whatever I decide, but my MIL is unsure cutting my mom's access to her granddaughter is the way to go, but says it is ultimately my decision. I am torn about what to do with my mom. Update 1. My brother and his wife sat my nephews down and explained that grandma was ill and tried to hurt Auntie Diamond and the little cousin. They explained grandma would not be part of their lives anymore, but that doesn't mean she doesn't love them. It was really hard, but the kids are smart. They were also told other aunt is no longer in their life, but they don't care because they dislike her, not because of me alone, simply because she is not exactly great with them either. My mom lost it when she was informed and started claiming she had rights and she will get to see her grandchildren. My dad is looking for a permanent place, but will stay with us until January, mainly due to my brother's MIL coming to visit and we having the space. He is really sad, has called divorce lawyers already, moved bank stuff, etc. He has been getting countless emails, messages, and calls from my mom, but he doesn't reply to anything. The lawyer told him to not block her right now. He considered maybe forgiving her, but I got a huge spike on my blood pressure a couple days after my last post here because she decided to come to my place with my sister. My sister had never been to my home. My mom knew I didn't want her there, but I guess that doesn't matter anymore. The cleaning lady let them in since she knows my mom and I haven't had the time to inform her she was not allowed to come in anymore. I was just coming from some errands and I saw the car. This time, I didn't get in. I called all of my relatives, and my Sael, husband's sister, was the one closer to me. She confronted them and told them either they leave or I call the police on them for trespassing. They left, and I started feeling bad. We went to the doctor, and they told me all the excitement was not good, and I needed to start relaxing, or it would hurt the baby. My dad went home with my brother, uncle, and my husband, and took every single thing he could think of. My husband says my sister was there too and she kept screaming at him that he destroyed her family. My dad told my mom and sister they almost killed the baby and he also doesn't want to talk to any of them again. My sister kept sending messages to my brother, begging for help but is not happening. I am devastated and very sad for my nephew since he is losing so much of his family because his mother has some wacky ideas, but it is what it is. As per the custody and grandparent rights my mom wants to throw around so much, my lawyer sent her a letter stating she caused harm to my health and the baby, and if she keeps harassing me, it will become an official legal matter. My brother also sent her a letter using her harassing of me. Both mom and sister have refused to go to therapy. They might be mentally ill, but with all of this coming to light, it is obvious they have been in agreement for a long time. I will focus on spending the holidays with my family, being healthy, and going to therapy. Update 2. A couple people asked me what method we used to know the gender of the baby. I announced it after 20 weeks. The reason for waiting so long is we have experienced a loss in the past, which we were preparing to announce when it happened, and we wanted to be sure and have a safety feeling about the announcement. Also, we were naive enough to think it would be special for my mom. And you were right. After posting, I handed it to my husband, and he read your messages, comments, and advice for some days. We swiped the house and thankfully found nothing but felt extremely unsafe, so we went to a hotel with my dad. But then we realized there was a tracker on my fur baby's vest. He is a very small dog and gets cold a lot, so he has a funny vest. Never in a million years would I have thought of looking there, but we discovered the tracker 
When my dad walked him around the hotel area and my sister came and asked him about me and reconciliation. I was really upset so we decided to move. Thankfully, we can afford it. We are renting at the moment and also renting out our place. So is not just empty. I used to love that house, but now I feel is ruined and tainted somehow. Sadly, my parents' house feels the same, and not only for me. We all, brother, husband, dad, Essiel, and even my husband's family, changed our numbers, got new electronics, and notified employers, friends, police. We also started therapy and family therapy. My dad and brother feel extreme guilt over the situation, even if I have truly forgiven them, but we are healing as a unit. My sister and mom insist they are not wrong, and they don't need therapy. My dad made a new will in which my sister's son gets a trust fund and some inheritance, but my sister gets a token amount. He is truly done with her. I was feeling bad for her, but I decided to focus my energy on my baby. She is here, and we are blessed. It is not the experience I thought of since my mom is not around me anymore, but so many friends and family members have truly surprised us. By the end, we were so paranoid we started testing some people, we were unsure of telling them I was going into labor. It worked like a charm. We discovered who was still feeding info to my mom and sister and cut them out. The rest understood when we explained the reasoning. My ex, whom my friends now call Bates, went around saying the baby was his cause. We've been having a torrid affair due to my undying love for him asterisk. Nobody believes him anymore, but it made my husband contact Bates's employer and tell him about all the craziness. Long story short, he was put on a suspension pending internal reviewing. I am almost positive he will be fired since they have asked us for more and more info and they seem really apologetic. My mom has tried to find us, but all the people that know of our location have gone NC with her. My dad's lawyer sent her a letter stating that due to her instability, all correspondence will be through lawyers now. It has been us and my dad because I felt so bad for him being alone. He has promised he will be fine and nothing is my fault but I still feel awful. He has been the best babysitter, feeder, daper changer in the universe. My nephews are loving as always, and my dad even got a visit with my sister's son. It came about because she kept making videos threatening to hurt herself if my husband didn't stop alienating her family, so my dad emailed her about seeing her son and told her he would call the police about her threats, so that seems to have stopped it. Lastly, someone brought up, I gave Bates false hope. It can't be further from the truth. I spent years uncomfortable because I thought he would move on. Then after I spoke up and then met my husband, I spent such a long time fighting my sister about it. I had a very long engagement which is why I married after my sister. I still love my mom and sister, but I choose a healthy life for me and my family over that love. I have discovered a lot of loyalty, love and compassion through this whole thing. As strange as it may seem, I feel lucky it all exploded. Hopefully, it is not much of a ramble. Update 3 We officially moved into a new house, with my dad moving into the guest house. We had many discussions both in and outside therapy, and we decided that while it would be good for him to be with us, we all still need our space. We are still renting out the old place and will be deciding what to do later. My dad has the grandchildren all together about three times a week now. He still has to see my sister's kid separately since she refused to let him take the kid unless she knew where he lived, which to be fair is a normal thing. But considering she is crazy, we don't want her close. My mom complained to the lawyers about how unfair it is my dad still gets to see all grandchildren, but there is nothing she can do about it. About a month ago, my dad told me he had a confession and my stomach started hurting. Dear reader, he pays for my nephew's sister's kid, schooling and babysitting, which is why she still allows him to see him. He felt so guilty for hiding it and didn't want to keep secrets. I assured him it was nothing wrong, and to please don't feel bad. On Mother's Day, my dad got an email with a link to an Instagram account, in which they made a sad video about my mom, and how most of her family has abandoned her, and how much of a saint my sister is for being there for her. It was really pathetic and enraged me, but I just sent it to the lawyer. Dad officially filled for divorce in May, and the process is still ongoing. My mom insists he is wrong, but my dad said he'd rather drink bleach than go back to her, so I think that is final. My brother and husband took my dad out for Father's Day and had a blast. My sister posted many, many, many things that day, but they managed to block my dad from even learning about it because we wanted him to enjoy it. They also did a camping trip with the kids, aka went to a hotel, 
got a suite, and put a tent in the middle area for the kids, and a little tippy for baby. Honestly, having baby is one of the best things that have happened to me, and seeing my husband being the amazing father I knew he would be makes me so happy. It is tiring, but we have so much support. I feel grateful beyond anything, because I have my rocks on my side. My SILs and I now get to have a little calendar. On sharing things, all the kids get to do things that are age appropriate. And if they want to, we want to let them all know they do not need to hang out with people they dislike and their voices matter. Right now they are all obsessed with baby and say they are her protectors. And we get little get togethers, brunch, etc. Honestly, having family time is now a pleasure and not a headache without my sister there. I know is wrong to say, but she just sucks the positivity out of the room. My mother-in-law also loves having time with baby and stays in the guest room about once a week, she asked politely, and said she didn't want to take baby for sleepovers or anything. I feel respected and heard by her, and yes, have broken down sometimes, because I miss my mom a lot. I miss the mom I had or thought I had, not the one that told me I would be a terrible mother or was a hateful woman. My therapist says it's a marathon and to focus in the good. Speaking about good, Bates was terminated. Not only that, but his reputation in his industry was not only damaged, but nuclear level damaged. So was his brother's, but because BIL is not in an industry that cares as much about reputation, he still has his job as far as I know. Bates sent me a 12-page, double-sided, seemed single-space letter about how hurt he is. I am denying him. What's his and my husband is so threatened by him that he had to go and destroy him professionally because he would not be able to destroy anything else. I said seemed because I didn't read it, my lawyer did, and gave me a summary. I also heard from the grapevine, no, I don't ask people, they just tell me since they know he is stalking me, that the mother of his children moved, and he didn't even care, and said it was for the best. This man doesn't even care about his kids, and wants to play family with baby and me. Sadly, he won't be homeless or anything, because mommy already let him move back in with her, so I doubt he will learn anything from this. Not the flashiest of updates, but just what is. Oh, and my husband burnt or donated every single item given to him by my mom or my parents with my dad's blessing. He says life is too short to give her space in his life even with memories.